weekend has a lot of opportunities where you can socialize with different people your age, socialize with different students who are in college, um, and socialize with the faculty um, and the staff that will be helping you. Uh, so I would definitely suggest staying with a host, um, staying on campus, meeting a lot of people, um, and having a good time. Hopefully you're staying for the whole entire time. Uh, and definitely don't just hide in your room. Uh, have an open mindset, try and make new friends. Uh, you guys are all in the same boat. Most of you probably don't know each other, but it's really nice to like walk out of a symposium with a lot of friends and new people that you've met. One way that you can definitely make sure that you're not gonna miss out on any opportunities is to definitely just talk to everyone else who's interested in going here that are at the scholarship symposium as well because those are the people that are gonna be your classmates in like six months. So meeting them and talking with them is really gonna help you get a feel for what the campus is gonna be like. I would have liked to talk to more students who are already living here. Um, I didn't really talk to anybody except my host and I think it would have been good to have like a group of people I already knew who are older on campus. You no, know, I, I really had a, a great time at Symposium. I would say um, just, just yeah, be really open to meeting new students, getting to know them. Um, get to know your peers as well. I was pretty fortunate in that I made a lot of great friends during scholarship uh, symposium, uh, friends with other prospective students, and I'm still friends with them to this day. Talk about the stuff, the things that make you unique that you probably talked about in your application essays, um, or the things that you put in your comment app. Um, and this might be a little bit cheating, um, but when you do have some time to talk to other people, see what everyone else is what everyone else is doing so that you're not accidentally emphasizing something that other people also have. So everyone's gonna be super talented, obviously that's why they got here. So a way that you can stand out against everyone else is just talk about the things that you find so impactful to you or things that you want to change in your community or in the community around Illinois Tech or the Chicago community, things like that because being able to make abstract ideas into concrete plans is something that not a lot of people can do and showing that you have the passion to do that would really help you stand out. Be genuine. We know when you're lying. Um, but show off, like if you have something unique about you, I know if, like if you do unicycle, like if you ride a unicycle, talk about that. Or if you have something that most students wouldn't do in their free time or did service-wise or uh, academically, definitely mention it because it's, it's worth it. Ask good questions, come prepared with a list of things you want to talk about with the people um, that you'll be uh, sitting down with and see if they have any good tips for your time at college, uh, whether that's research opportunities or getting involved on campus. You definitely do your research on everyone who's interviewing you um, and come prepared with like questions for each person um, and about you know if they do research or what they've done in their past. Um, and Ask them about things like you're interested in. You should be leading the conversation, not them. So uh, never like run out of things to say. So if you didn't take a picture with Man on the Bench Park, then you didn't even come to Illinois Tech. Definitely the Kaplan Center, because it's like the newest building on campus and it's really cool inside. Um, go through all the res residence halls and like go to the frats and the stories and like look at all the living options. A Venus Camera Scholar helps me um, know that I succeeded in my high school years um, through service, through leadership, through sch scholastic uh, achievements, um, and it kind of encourages me to continue trying even harder in college. To me, the Camera Scholarship is a reward and it's an investment because it's a reward for all the things that you do or the, the type of person you are and how that can be beneficial to something, but it's also an investment because the university is putting these resources into your education uh, and so like it's expected that you get back in certain ways and you do the best you can to really improve campus and the community. I remember my freshman year we had an event within the cameras organization where uh, we had we held a potluck. So we went to SSV and in the little kitchens there we split into groups and different groups of camera scholars made different dishes. It was a great way to get to know the other members of the organization and try out some fun recipes. So at the end of the day, I, I had my little tray of bruschetta and we had some mac and cheese and uh, it was just a great time. Last semester we did a, like a adopt a child for Christmas uh, with Pi Kappa Sigma and Alpha Sigma Alpha. And so I remember the day of, I went shopping with Joel 
and it was like really stressful because shopping for other people was like hard but the event itself was a lot of fun um, it was nice to see everyone come together we had like cookies and like hot chocolate and it was just a really fun time for everyone just to like wrap presents and be stressed before finals I was in school and I got an email on my phone and I looked down and it just said congratulations for my IT and I like knew, knew it was that. So I like texted um, my host from Symposium and all my friends that I met there and it was, it was really exciting. Um, so that was that was a real big deal for me um, because the camera scholarship was really the only way that I could actually afford to go to college. Um, I was I was sitting with some other friends, um, some of whom had also uh, been at Scholarship Symposium. Um, when I got the email on my phone, um, it was just a huge weight lifted off of my shoulders. So I like knew I would get into IIT, but I didn't know if I'd get the scholarship, and it was really something I wanted. Um, but when I found out, when I got the email, I was walking to like my next class, and I was just like, oh my god, but like in my head because no one else knew what was going on. And um, I didn't have a class the next period, I just had like a study hall. And so I just kind of like sat there contemplating because I had like other, like other scholarships and stuff and I was like, do I go here, do I not go here? But it was a really great moment, I remember the day.